<laughs> the series were so popular that last year's reunion, A Very Brady Christmas, had an impressive 39 share of television viewers. It's big in our business. And CBS is currently developing two more Brady Bunch reunions. And Brady mom, Florence Henderson, and her real-life daughter, Barbara Chase, join us this morning. Yes. You didn't know Cindy was the little girl we saw. That her. was Cindy, Susan Olsen, and that, that hairdo was, was a wig. That was one of my bubble do's. The, your, that wasn't your hair? No, because I had just done the Song of Norway, and I came back, and my hair was about that long and bleached real blonde. And so they put me in a wig, and uh, everyone laughed about my hairdos on that show and my skirts going up and down, and uh, but that was my, my first big wig. Now, Barbara, you weren't Cindy's age at the time. You were a little bit older, weren't you? Yeah, I was the age, really, of the two older girls. Now, was that, it had to have been strange. I mean, to see your mother on television acting like a mother, because I know when my mother even was a Girl Scout leader, I went into trauma. You know, I mean, pay attention to anyone else but me. Yeah, it was pretty shocking. I think I was about 12 years old, I think, when everything started. And, um, I mean, I think adolescence was bad enough on its own, but to all of a sudden have my mother be everybody's mother was a bit of a shock. But did that surprise you, too? I mean, you had to be sensitive to the situation at home, didn't you? I was very sensitive, you know. Uh, I have four children, and, and luckily they've all turned out to be wonderful adults, but I worried a lot about it because if I went out with them, you know, all these little kids and the mothers, they would all run up to me and just it, totally ignore them and knock them aside. And uh, I used to, to feel so badly about that. Little Lizzie, my youngest, one time grabbed my skirt, and she said, Oh, Mommy, tell them that we're your real kids. And it, just, it broke my heart, you know, and, and a lot of times I just didn't go out with them. I would send my sister or someone to take them to Disneyland or places like that. It was, it was rough. I think maybe sometimes rougher for me than, than for you. I don't know. I know school must have been lousy because of, of your schoolmates sometimes. Sometimes. I think, uh, for me, I, I mean, we grew up as New York kids, not Hollywood kids. So it, I think it was the marked difference in having it all of a sudden change in high school. and. Uh, and feel that I was aware that I had a famous mom. But you know, all kids have problems. You know, it's, it's like I came from a very poor family. Uh, my father had a drinking problem. Uh, we, were, we were always struggling for money, never had any clothes, never had anything. Sometimes I was ashamed of them. Every kid has problems, you know? Do you think more people remember Florence Henderson for television than what she did on Broadway because you, you were in a string of hits? Yes, I, I, I'm always shocked when people uh, come up to me. I, I sang at the Kennedy Center a couple of nights ago, and so many people came up to me, young people that had, you know, watched the Brady Bunch and said, oh, your voice is so great. We had no idea you could sing. And that gets a little frustrating. You said that none of your children are married yet. No. Now, Barbara. <laughs> hey, hey, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you just don't want another Brady Bunch? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, that has nothing to do with it at all. <laughs> no, I would be very happy to be married. Mm. Are you married, Kathleen? Oh. <laughs> <Out of laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Florence. Oh, thank you.